Back here at Harbor Shores, we join the course designer and his wife with Steve Sands. Thank you very much, Dan. Always an honor and a pleasure to be joined by Barbara and Jack Nicholas. And you guys are here today at Harbor Shores for an exciting new college scholarship program that was named in your honor. We just saw you a little bit a while ago inside the Media Center. And the PGA of America Whirlpool Corporation proudly honored Jack's commitment and legacy by creating the Jack and Barbara Nicholas KitchenAid Senior PGA Champions for Change Scholarship Pro Program. It inspires the recipients through education. Jack, how proud are you that your name is not just synonymous as the best player in the history of golf, but also someone who gives back outside the ropes? Well, I got to thank Barbara for that, Steve. <laughs> I think the Barbara's uh, got me into giving back on uh, when we started our foundation, but to have me honored here with uh, by KitchenAid and Whirlpool on uh, uh, what we did here in this community and be part of it and to further the education of young kids coming out of out of the junior colleges into the next next level of education. Uh, that's kids that are serious about wanting to get an education and to be able to support support them with funds. It's pretty neat. Barbara, as Jack was making his way around the world, taking care of business on the golf course, you famously were taking care of the family. And you've always told us the Children's Hospital in South Florida, education programs like this for collegiate kids ages. How important is it for the entire Nicholas family to be known for something like this? Well, I think maybe that's the one thing they're the most proud of. Uh, Jack was busy, obviously, in his early years, and uh, he supported me totally. And uh, now we've really had a lot of fun now that he's not playing so much. He's really hands on and had to give him a couple raises this year. He's doing such a good job. So we just feel so blessed to be able to help children. And what golf has done for us as a vehicle to open doors, we feel so blessed in this scholarship couldn't get any better. Uh, let's go back in the time machine when you actually were competing. You remember this in 2010 right here on these grounds with Johnny Miller. Take a look and listen to this final moment. Johnny's saying, he said, you can't play this part. Now, how great was that to bury that on Johnny Miller, Jack? Well, you know, all I could see was the opening of the golf course, Steve. And Johnny had a place down there that originally when we did the golf course, that was fairway. And I said, well, it's a pretty difficult pitch shot. I think I put that in, in, in the green, then they can putt it up the hill if they want to. Well, Arnold, we were playing a, scra or a scramble, and Arnold and, Gary, Gary, Arnold and Johnny hit it there. And Arnold putted first, and he hit the ball three quarters up the way of the hill, and it came running right by him. And Johnny said, "Well, you can't putt this." I said, "All I could see was people coming to play Harbor Shores, and they, and they get to the tenth hole, and they take a wedge out and put it on the green. Divot, 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 divot." I said, "Can't have that. Can't have that." So I went down there and just took a whack at the putt. It went in. I mean, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't line it up. I didn't do anything. I just hit it. And you know, I walked back. I said, "Man, what was so hard about that?" Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> You've made a lot of putts in your day. That was a fabulous moment. Thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations on the new scholarship program. Safe travels to Columbus. I know next week is a big one for you guys at the Memorial Tournament. Thanks again, Jack and Barbara Nicholas. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Steve. I cannot look at this putt enough with Johnny Stenner. Show me how to do it, Jack. And we all know how much Johnny has respected Jack through the years. And the respect factor just <laughs> went up a little bit more when they opened this course back in eight years ago. Go ahead, Jack. Of course it went in, right? They all go in off the putter blade of Jack Nicholas.